Everyone knows the Aldrich catalog. It was really almost a bible of chemistry for us. You used it for so long, it's a, it's a, a dear old friend. I'm here at the ACS National Meeting in Dallas, and I've been asking chemists to share their stories of using the indispensable resource. When I was a graduate student at uh, Washington University in St. Louis, um, I used the Aldrich catalog extensively. It sat on my desk. I had a very, well, at that point I was five years old when I graduated, uh, dog-eared copy. We all had one hiding on our desk, um, and I used to love to look at the artwork on them. The covers were always these beautiful pieces by the masters, a lot of them about alchemy. We have several really old ones. People collect them, they want to have the one with the artwork they like. Every time I was doing a, a recurring reaction, you know, I needed to look up a density, a molecular weight, um, anything of that nature. You know, I, I knew exactly what page to, to go to and you know, the, the book would flop open to that page. They do have a sort of sentimental value. I think all of us, it's a little superstitious, but people will have their, their favorite reaction flasks that they use. And uh, it's the same thing with a catalog like that. We used to use our Aldridge uh, for a source of cyclohexadiene. And we wanted to do some Gilles Alder chemistry with it. I think uh, throughout my nine years of graduate school, almost greater than 95% chemicals came from Aldridge. Of course we bought things from it, but it was so much more than that. In using the catalog, I was able to identify information about trace elements in some of the solvents, such as acetone, and learning about this helped me to develop a new technique for analyzing clay composites. And I remember uh, we ordered a bottle, it could never get the chemistry to work. We eventually looked at a GPC trace and discovered that it wasn't cyclohexadiene at all, some benzene and cyclohexene and about equal mixtures. But anyway, Aldridge was nice enough, they refunded our money, gave us a free bottle, and we moved on from there. I'm using this new technique I've developed to help me in marketing myself during my job search. The oddest use we had for the Aldridge catalog is you know, a graduate student would leave and, and they would leave behind their library of catalogs. So I remember we had to raise a table up a couple inches so we could fit a freezer underneath. And so we grabbed four of those old copies that were floating around the lab and, and stuck them under the table legs. And it, it gave us just enough height that we could shove a freezer under that table. And so um, they're probably there to this day. Who knows? I'm Linda Wang for Chemical and Engineering News.